everybody, it is me, Third Star RPG, as I say, to fight the back with more Batman Arkham City Revisited Edition. So today, um, nope, wrong button. I just want to show off the characters I have thus far. Um, so, I mean, I already mentioned I have Batman, I have Bruce Wayne, Alfred, <coughs> I have Oracle, it'll just be more of a quickie unless if there's brand new ones that I currently didn't have before, Jim Gordon, Mr. Freeze, Penguin, Tally Agul, Rachel Ghoul, Two-Face, Vicky Vale, Mayor Quincy Sharp, Joker has a couple of tapes. Um... You have one missed call. Hey, been missing you. Get back to me. Laters! You have one missed call. Hello? I'm not sure that you got my call earlier. Uh huh, and I remember this one. Oh, there's this one. You have one missed call. Hey, Bats! Are you okay? I'm sorry I had Harley steal your cure. You were so busy with Freeze that she didn't even have time to ask. But don't worry, as soon as that little minx is back here and I've had my share, I'll save some for you. You have to work for it, but it will be right here waiting for you. You probably won't believe this, but I don't really think I can sit back and watch you die. <laughs> it's selfish, really, but we need each other. Life would be so boring without you. Who would I talk to? Who would really understand me? That's a good question, fam. <laughs> um, and then I have Holly, Harley Quinn, who goes strange. I got Clayface, I got the Riddler, I got Solomon Grande, Catwoman, Nora Freeze. I got Black Mask, Jack Ryder, Poison Ivy. Oh, there's a new one that I hadn't got previously. That is Killer Croc. Um. So yeah, he's Waylon Jones. He's an alligator wrestler, gangster, murderer, criminal. There you go. And based in Mobile, he's got yellow eyes, no hair, night night feet tall. He's 310 pounds, mostly a pure muscle. Jesus Christ. And he's in, and he first appeared in Batman issue three, uh, 357 in January 1984. Um, okay, born with a rare, with a rare mutation that makes his, that made his skin green and scaly, and grew his body to grotesque proportions. Waylon Jones was raised by a, by an alcoholic aunt and bullied resent, relentlessly for his appearance. He briefly worked as a carnival freak under the name Killer Croc, but his misanthropy grew with his animal nature, pushing him to a life of crime as, as his physical condition and mental state deteriorates. Killer Croc became a more bestial foe, increasingly detached from humanity. His whereabouts are unknown since his escape from Arkham Asylum. And here is his, uh, attributes. Incredibly thick, tough skin, and razor-sharp teeth and claws. Strength and stamina are at near superhuman level. Heightened senses and extremely fast reflexes can survive in water for extended periods of time and an intense hatred of humanity. Yeah, so that is Killer Croc. And then there's Batman. Um. Bruce Wayne. Got his stuff here. Got Alfred. And then you got Oracle. You have Robin. I mean, he got a, he's got a cool alpha, yet yeah, you don't see him very much. I mean, he did have his own. I mean, he did have like a like a side mission, sort of thing. 
Well, it's more so if you got a DLC, I think it was called Harley Quinn's Revenge. That was pretty much it that you got from him, that you were, you would end up playing as him. <coughs> At least in Arkham Knight, he had a little bit more liberty. Some of these guys do end up having interview tapes, um, but I just have not collected. Um, I think, yeah, Bruce or Batman. One of them do have some tapes, um, Mr. Freeze usually has some tapes, interview tapes, Penguin does, and then there's Tali Agul, who, she is not a good shipper for Batty. Race can choke on his own dead dreams on having his daughter and Batty get together because that ain't happening, Hana Bobo. Two Face had a few interview tapes as well with Hugo Strange, which yeah, Hugo Strange was a mastermind in this game. Um, but then the ultimate, ultimate master. The ultimate, you know, mastermind was, of course, um, who goes strange. Vicky Vale. I personally am not reading every single thing because, um, I've got Quinn sit here and be out here all day. I don't have time for that. This is Quincy Sharp. Um... I mean, when I found out that this guy was, was, when he was the spirit of Arkham, I practically had to gag. Because I don't trust that guy in the slightest. And of course, just got through the Joker. And he has both phone calls and interview tapes. And then there's Holly, Harley Quinn. And who goes strange, who is pretty much the mastermind, um, because he was a psychiatrist. To be honest, he is a terrible doctor. Come on, just why? He is a terrible doctor. I mean, I don't exactly know if Harley, I mean, outside of Harley falling in love with the Joker and that sort of stuff, and outside of, you know, Scarecrow with his fear gas chis, but outside of those two factors, but between those two characters, I don't exactly know if they were actually good doctors. That's a good question. I should probably have that in mind. There's Riddy. <laughs> He's got interview tapes as well, and his are gold hilarious, like... Like, I think at one point, Hugo Strange basically out-riddled Edward. And it was so funny. <laughs> like, he just flat, like, like, Hugo Strange just flat out went savage on Riddy. And then poor Riddy was just like, bu, 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 wha, wha, what? <laughs> I get all, like, I think uh, Hugo Strange was like, what is the difference between you and the dictionary? Uh, between a blank page and, uh, and a blank page and a dictionary or something like that. You're at a loss for words! Oh my god, that was some 100% flat out savagery. Oh, it was friggin' wild. <laughs> it was hilarious, though. And then Catwoman had some interview tapes for herself as well. Um, with Hugo. And, yeah. Then there's Nora Freeze. <laughs> some might possibly call her, you know, um... Some might call her an ice princess. Interestingly enough, there was, um, I remember there was this old movie called Ice Princess. Um, yeah. 
I think it was like a Disney movie or something. Disney, uh, not a Disney Channel, Disney Channel movie, but it was like, um, I know it was mentioned along Disney or something. Like Disney Channel would mention it, and I remember there is a music video uh, from Alan AJ with their song called No One, and um, and it was basically a uh, music video for Ice Princess. It's very interesting. I mean, it was. I mean, that was years ago. Like, I think I was in elementary school when all that went down. But yeah, that's basically all the characters you poor so got, you know, what they look like. But if you want to look at the details concerning the characters, I am prob this is probably not the video you want to consult to. But if you want to just, you know, take a look at, hey, look at what the characters look, look like on this thing, then yeah, you can go ahead and do that. Or... Or if you wanted to attempt to decipher what the heck of, you know, is being said, go on ahead, be my, be, be my guest. But I'm not forcing anyone for anything. But anyway. If I get out of here, if I get out of here, I'm heading straight out of Gotham stinking city. Hell, I'll even give Blood Haven a shot anywhere but here. <laughs> he wants to go to Blood Haven. I can't imagine your pain, bruh. But I'm going to head to where this cure is to like be like, hey, let me just take a few extra doses just to make sure. Although, something about it is hella fishy, but hey, why not? We gotta check it out. I wanted to in story time, but then, you know, things just got blah. And, of course, right when I, uh, when I actually... It's getting worse, minute by minute. Like, right when I wanted to do it. Batty's like, oh no, Talia's in danger, you can't. And I'll be like, oh, oh, for crying out loud, just leave her. She's not even good for you. She's not, she's not in a good, you know, you're not, she's not a good person for you. She's not good for you, dude. But, whatever. Game does was Batman doing in here anyway. Make this place a prison. I know, good question. But anyway, so I will catch you guys next time. Bye, guys.